Just gotta remember what a badass I am. Ah. <laughs> Change of plan. We need to flex. We need to flex these creative muscles and these little fingers. And a little bit of a reality check. Hello guys. Welcome to the vlog. I have just had a lovely nutritious breakfast because this morning has been hectic. This whole week has started off hectic. This whole site visit is hectic. By the way, we're going on the site visit today. So let me fill you in on the backstory of what today is about. A few months ago, I sent out a design fee proposal for an office project. It was quite a big project about three to four story building, office building, and um, very great potential in it. Unfortunately, the client back then it didn't go ahead with my services, which I was quite bummed about, but you know what? We move, we carry on, and uh, I kind of just got over it. And then, lo and behold, yesterday morning, I get an email from the client themselves asking me to call them. They have managed to get the building up to a point where it just needs colouring in, as we call it, or as my husband likes to call it. So we need finishes, we need wall coverings, we need some features. Most of the furniture is ordered, but there is still some questions here and there of some fabric finishes and things like that. So all of this is more like a consultation rather than like a full-on project from scratch. And I was kind of umming and ahhing whether to do a vlog on this because it's not like the whole shabam. But you know what I thought? Actually, this is a great example of the different types of projects that interior designers can get. So you could be designing the whole scheme, just you and your own and taking charge of it. Or you could be just called in at a certain point in the project and, you know, just do like a consultation sort of thing. So this is where we're at today. I've had my super nutritious breakfast now, coffee, pump my tires. Why do I always have issues with tires? Like, can someone just come and fix my tires, please? And uh, yeah, then I've got hopefully an hour and a half drive down to Derby. We shall see how that goes because if you can see outside, it's a little bit chilly and frosty today. That is the last thing that I needed, but hey ho, is what it is. So that's the plan, that's the backstory of today. I'm a little bit nervous because usually with um, site visits and new projects, new clients, you kind of get that, you know, you can prepare yourself. There, there's a lead up to it, right? And we've kind of like cut that part out, all of that mingling and um, sort of introduction. And we are getting straight into it, which I'm a little bit nervous about, especially because I've been freelancing for the last few months. So it's been very kind of relaxed in a way. It's not really been client faced, but you know, just, just gotta remember what a badass I am and need to go and do it. Get on with it. Excited, excited, I'm excited and nervous and just super, super grateful really that this has come back to me, come back around. And yeah, if you don't take anything away from this video, then at least know that in the interior design world, don't burn your bridges and nothing is ever lost and nothing is ever a bad experience or useless or wasted time. When I think back a few months ago and not getting this job, I was very, I was very, very disappointed to be honest because I put my hopes up and uh, yeah, I tend to do that. Shouldn't really do that. But at that time and at that point, I thought, okay, well, off you go. Bye-bye. Never mind. Did I even think that it's going to come back around to me and I will be able to do the job? Maybe not as initially planned, but still, it's happening. Well, we shall see. I hope. <laughs> I hope that they will pay me because it's been just going at lightning speed. We've not even like talked about like locking in a first consultation fee or something which I know which I know is not smart but you know what life is not ideal circumstances are not ideal and sometimes in this business you just gotta dive in you just gotta dive in okay no matter what I will tell you on a different day or whatever anyone else will tell you a business advisor sometimes you just gotta go for it and hope for the best 
Okay, I need to go. I need to sort out my tires and um, need to get on the road because I don't know what the traffic's gonna be like today. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. nice and early for a change half an hour early but I forgot my tape measure I could kind of get away with just the laser because I do have the laser but I do not want to risk it I don't want to come all this way and then you know not take some dimensions that I could have taken so I'm just gonna pop into home base and um, grab a quick tape measure and um, the site is just like five minutes drive away from here so hopefully will be on time. Right, change of plan. Okay, so yesterday's meeting and site visit and all of that went really well but there wasn't really much that I could record and talk about and in the end I was like you know what let's just switch this up and what I'm actually going to do is take you guys along this whole journey this whole project. That sounds better than just a day in the life, right? So the plan of action now is that the deadline is super, super tight. We have until beginning of March, end of February to get all of this sorted that we need to do. And that is about six weeks time, if even that. So there is a lot to do. And the plan of action after yesterday's meeting was that for the next week, I am focusing on the actual cafe area. They have a staff cafe with like an assisted counter, seating, soft seating, mixed type of seating. Layout is already done, but there is nothing for look and feel and just any kind of specification. And we only have six weeks to go. I don't know how this is going to play out. My realistic mind is saying that we will definitely run over those six weeks. But you know what? We we keep going. We make things happen. So I'm just sitting down to write out my design fees because I need to review them and confirm them before I get any work sent over because in this world we need to do that okay so that's what i'm gonna do now and i've got till monday to create a look and feel board maybe some 3d stuff because the client really wants something a bit more visual a bit like you know realistic so we'll see how far i get i'm pretty much tied up all week and childcare is a bit of a hit and miss because my husband is away with work as well so it's not like i can even work the weekend really so we need to flex we need to flex these creative muscles and these little fingers i hope you all enjoy the process and um, let's do this I sent up the fee proposal. <sighs> it's always so nerve wracking to send out fee proposals. I, I can never get over it, even when the fee is kind of agreed even though in this case it's not agreed. We'll see what they say, we'll see what they say. At this point, we might end the video here, depending on what the answer is, because I feel like I priced myself at a very fair price level and I would be happy to work and give my all on this project if I was paid that fee for it. So, we shall see. Guess who got the job? She did. She did. It is happening. I'm just so, I'm just so excited. I can't cope. Every time you win a job, uh, it's a big, big celebration. I don't think it ever wears off. We are going. We're going ahead. And I have shed loads to do in a tiny little space. 
space of time. Usually I would have a lot more time to do concept design, but because we are go, 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 it is super, super, super saturated. Like, like, so today I am working on the look and feel for the cafe and everything that's basically within the space. So this is the servery, the seating, the finishes, walls, floors and things like that. Uh, layout stays the same as it is already. Um, someone has done that work already and they are happy with the layout, which I'm fine with as well. I don't mind kind of gives me a little bit of, whew, you know, takes something off of my to-do list. So I'll just use that as a guide. I would love to kind of do something quickly in 3D, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. Really, 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 really tight for time. So we'll see. But I'm just excited. I'm so, so, so excited. At the beginning of this year, I thought, okay, my focus is really on YouTube and on socials and kind of growing that part of the business. And kind of freelancing was there to support me to pay the bills to get things going you know to get on with life and then i was really just focusing creatively focusing on socials and i wasn't really thinking about even taking on my own clients like freelancing seemed like is going to do the job and obviously now this has landed on my desk and uh, we're doing it so <laughs> You can plan what you want. Life always has a way to do its own thing and you just kind of got to go with the flow. Ask yourself, do you want to do this? Yes, well then go all in. And that's what we are doing. So setting up the presentation today, getting things sorted, client call tomorrow, bam, bam, bam. And then we were right into concept development after that. Oh, exciting, exciting. Um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yes! <laughs> they loved it. They loved it. <laughs> so, that was good. That was very, 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 very successful. Oh. <sighs> I finished the presentation yesterday and I went to bed and I was like, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What if they hate it? What if it's completely like, what if I've gone wrong? So, so wrong. Because I just don't know. You don't know. Like the first concept kind of review is always, well, every presentation is nerve wracking. You are so connected to the design and to the work that you've done and you feel for it, right? It's like your child. So you never know. You never know. And um, thankfully, slide by slide we were ticking boxes it was happening it's going ahead Whew. now another site meeting tomorrow talking through some details bloody hell i wish i had the rest of the week i'm just i'm just gonna not sleep for like the next three weeks and then i'll be able to make it then i'll be able to do it in time. <laughs> anyways you know what it is what it is we're gonna make it happen and we're gonna try our best okay we're gonna try our best right I now need to sort some live things out, but I might take some snapshots from tomorrow's journey to site. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ah! So I was just revising or about to revise some of the design fees because there's actually a bit more work to do. I realized I've not actually shown you the concept look and feel, so I'm gonna switch it around and show you what I presented today. So, you know, you can be up to speed with everything. Okay, let me just spin you around. All right, that looks about right. I'll show you the layout first, so you know what we're dealing with. So this is the whole cafe area. All over there is the offices and the rest of the building. So as we come in, we've got these booths. Then there's like an open plan dining space. Up on this side, we've got like the loungy kind of soft furnishing area. And then in the center, we've got these feature banquet seating. We've got a little feature going on around there. And then at the end here, we've got the servery, which is actually going to be um, looked at tomorrow because we got some questions okay so that's the plan or the floor layout so this is the look and feel i'm going for the servery i love a bit of natural sort of raw finishes i hope that we can make this feature happen so you will have like this in the background like these slats and then like a nice feature in the front so that would kind of run along there 
really like that idea and just like mixing up these finishes for the counter oh that would be nice that would be nice okay next we have so this feature area the whole brief is very much like modern simplistic but sophisticated and with like you know a bit of edge so i'm bringing in some like nice sort of framework in the furniture we've got geometric shapes so like sharp edges and then we got something like nice and soft fluted back for the banquet seating and then this is the feature for you see where the planters are so i'm hoping i can make that happen so for that curve to kind of stretch all the way along next we have the booths this is the vibe yeah mesh mm -mm, sexy nice modern we are going for the kind of soft and comfy cushion not like the flat one there but i gave them options and then we're going for a wall light instead of a pendant then we're gonna have some um, acoustic panels and some feature flooring so those are the booths over there and next it is the open sort of seating area so like the middle bit staying with kind of the same furniture selection and adding some extras there just for variety i'm loving these lights i'm hoping that these sort of clusters will work and maybe some like little planters in between yeah yeah feeling the vibe what else we got the same sort of table tops in the stone I'm loving those table legs there mm -mm. nice nice what else we have okay here this was a little wild card it's a nice rustic bespoke table so that would be this one here the eight seater and yeah it worked out the client loved it immediately i was like okay this is a wild card just hear me out and the client was like immediately when you show that slide i knew i love that idea so amazing it's always good when that happens and then a little featured slat walls to kind of bring in the counter design you know what i showed you before and then we've got like these soft seating this furniture is quite like um like i said bold choice it sets the tone for the rest of the space and again we've got these globe lights hopefully we can make that work we've got a bit of a feature carpet inlay so that will be whoop will be up there and in there so this is kind of like nice blend from sand to like a dark forest green i love 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 some planters mobile planters and that's the kind of a general feel yeah <coughs> mic check one two one two Whew. okay it is saturday and what a week it has been you know what i'm gonna close that window before we continue okay so this week what's happened i think last time i saw you was a monday so monday we did the concept presentation which was great went really well was received really well we agreed to meet on site on the following day so that was tuesday we sort of went through the ideas that i presented some just questions on site that they are having at the moment and that needed ironing out i measured up properly this time because i knew what i needed first time was a bit kind of I didn't really know that I was going to be doing the cafes area so I didn't pay that much attention to it. Catering designer was there he did his briefing his kind of introduction to the client and in introduction to the brief what needs to be done on the servery on the counter equipment wise and stuff. Um, so that was Tuesday. Wednesday I went to see a furniture supplier to kind of see what we can do with these tight deadlines because it is super tight like we need to be on site in four Four weeks well technically five weeks we have until like we need to hand over and if you think that the design hasn't been like done yet so we can't really place any orders for furniture so four weeks usually is very tight if you are not putting in furniture that's kind of in stock you know that can be just taken off the shelf and used which usually isn't the case if you want something nice and design led and quality you can get stock items but those are very much not nice okay so the lead times that the furniture supplier has given me and other suppliers really i've been reaching out to multiple to see what can be done is very much six to eight weeks and 
The reasoning being is that most furniture is not made in Britain, so the framework and everything is actually brought in from either Italy or Portugal, sort of European countries. And what we need to do now as well is send the fabric Britain made fabric, send it over there, over to Italy for example. That has to go through customs because of the whole Brexit situation. Customs are a lot more stricter and takes a lot longer than it used to. Once the fabric gets there, obviously furniture gets made, then the furniture needs to be set, sent back and we go through the same process again, the whole, you know, hold ups and everything. So it does take time and it is actually quite hard to really like put a strict date on when like the furniture is going to be back because a lot of things can happen along the way so that's why there's like six to eight weeks because it could easily be held up those two weeks could easily be just in transit items could be on ships and and just waiting to like go through customs anyways so that was wednesday um what else so thursday friday was my last two days that i was in with my freelance contract in the office so here we are it is saturday and i am putting the pedal to the metal it is go 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 time if it wasn't before then now it is so from now on i'm full time on this project and it's gonna take over my life very much every day so today tomorrow i'm finishing the 3ds for the cafe and for the reception that will be presented on Monday afternoon. We have a site visit on Wednesday, which will be a contractor briefing. So by Wednesday, I will be able to kind of th talk through the design. I will not have drawing pack yet as such, but I will be able to introduce the contractor to the design. So, you know, they are a little bit more aware, but pretty much after that and pretty much after Monday's presentation, I will be getting onto drawings anyway. So it's kind of like we're taking this day by day and um, praying for the best. So yeah. I've been to yoga this morning, so hence the look fresh out the shower because I've been so stressed this week and I've not really done anything for myself like working out, exercising or going out for walks or anything like that. So it was needed and I've got a little session tomorrow morning as well, a little dance session. I just need to make sure I'm taking care of myself whilst I'm in the middle of this all. It is my best interest to meet the deadlines, but at the same time, if... If I've not slept enough, if I've not been able to exercise and I'm feeling just low in energy, then nothing's gonna happen really and um, we're gonna burn out. So, long story short, we're getting into it today. Yeah, let's get some visual stuff. A bit of a reality check. I am making what seems to be like revision 500 million on these drawings and even though it's like it's not big deal it's not like big things I feel like it's because it's the little things like tiny little things like I have to change a whole drawing just because like a color change or like an element within it has changed and that will just you know set everything off and i can't just like let it go i need it to be updated i just want to be done with this i really do but i'm just so tired oh I'm so tired Okay, hello, hello. Today's the day. I think it's been about two months now. I don't know where I've left you last in this never ending vlog, but today the vlog ends. Yeah, so it's been almost two months, maybe like six, seven weeks since the project went live. So the site opened to staff and fully operating. We've had some really great feedback from you know people actually work in there which is absolutely amazing happy clients you know that is the best really um 
reward you can get as an interior designer. So today I am actually going down to take the final shots, do some videos, do some reels, you know, film some content for you. So make sure you check out the page, Studio Space for Edit. That's where you will see all the final results. Um, yeah, and that is that. That's the plan for today. Very busy day, to be honest, because I've got a lot to do. Got my cameras ready, got a last minute idea that I should bring more plans to style the space um which we'll see how that works out <laughs> definitely gonna be a bit weird but hey ho everything for that juicy magic shot hey so i got some coffee here and i'm gonna get on the road hopefully can um avoid the morning traffic but it's half eight so i think i think it's gonna be a bit tight anyways it's a gorgeous day and i can't get on the road i'll see you on site being the amateur vlogger that I am I did not record a proper ending to this video which is a shame because uh, I did spend a lot of time making this video let me just adjust you I think this is a good angle so what did you think what did you think of the end result I absolutely love it and I'm just so proud that we managed to actually carry through so many of the ideas that were proposed because from my experience most of the time there's a lot of stripping back a lot of value engineering and yeah it's just unfortunately the designs get watered down quite heavily so finally we very much stuck to the original design there was quite a few furniture revisions which is fine that is acceptable especially because we had this short time period where we needed to deliver everything but other than that yes i'm very proud very happy about the end result the client project managed everything so they found their own sort of trades people to come and do everything and i was very pleased to see the actual craftsmanship and the finish that it has been done to so very happy about that and um yeah happy client great feedback what's not to love what is not to love like when i started this video i did say about the whole freelancing versus getting into my own projects again and really that doing this project again it's really kind of showed me the love for the job for the profession again because I had stepped away from it doing the freelancing just because it was getting a bit too much and I kind of fell out of love of it and doing this on my own terms with such great clients and everything just went so well. I've really fallen in love again with the job and the the whole shabam. I'm looking forward to the future and doing more of my own projects more of my own designs while still doing freelance whilst doing content creation and just really exploring everything around the industry like I think it's quite an exciting time challenging but exciting at the same time okay I'm gonna end it here if you want to see more of the project let me know down in the comments we could maybe do like a little talk through walk through and I can I don't know tell you more about the design but if that video doesn't happen I do have a few shorts few reels or short form content that is going to be coming out where I'm going to be focusing more on like separate parts of the design so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe or actually make sure you 
follow me on Instagram and that's where you'll be able to see all of that. That is it for this video. Thanks for sticking around. It's a long one and um, I hope you enjoy the design. I'll see you in the next one.